everyone. I'm Bill Ritter. And I'm Liz Joan. The polls in New Jersey close in just about a minute from now. Voters there tonight electing a governor in what has been a very tight race. Tight and at times very nasty. I would support Phil Lipoff with supporters of Republican Chris Christie. He's in Parsippany. Phil? Bill, you're right. Nasty at times because I, I think that it, it is so close. Chris Christie voted this morning, cast a ballot for himself in his hometown of Mendham uh, with his wife and four kids by his side. He's here now at the Hilton in Parsippany, his election headquarters tonight. Uh, this race has been so tight. Both the Republican and Democratic parties have brought out the big guns. President Obama for Governor Corzine, Rudy Giuliani for Chris Christie. Now there is nothing left to do. Campaigning is done. Polls close any minute now. He just has to wait and hope that he becomes the next governor of New Jersey. Live in Persephone, Phil Lipoff, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. All right, Phil, thank you. President Obama campaigned three times for John Corzine. Mm, Corzine also spent about $25 million of his own money in this race. Will it make any difference? I would use reporter Tony Yates with the Corzine campaign. She's in East Brunswick. Tony? That's right, guys, because early in this campaign, Governor John Corzine was trailing in popularity, and the Democrats thinking that this election was so popular, was so important for a win, that they did bring the president here three times, hoping that he his popularity would help sway voters to uh, elect, um, or at least come out and vote for John Corzine. Now, John Corzine is trying to be reelected re under an eight billion dollar deficit, unemployment threatening to tip 10 percent and the nation's highest property taxes. On the campaign trail, though, John Corzine talked about the money he's throwing behind education and health care for children. Will that be enough to sway voters who are also still paying the highest property taxes in the nation? That is what we will learn tonight when this election is. Thank you, Tony. Stay tuned now for the series premiere of V. We'll be back throughout the night. This is a Channel 7 Eyewitness News special report. Vote 09. And good evening to you again. I'm Liz Chow. And I'm Bill Ritter. The votes have been counted in the tight and at times nasty race for New Jersey governor. Here where things stand right now. Right. With just 16% of the precincts reporting, Chris Christie has 53% of the vote. John Corzine, 39%. And Chris Daggett, 5%. Let's go to New York City where the polls close in about a minute. Incumbent Mayor Michael Bloomberg hoping to win a controversial third term over Democratic challenger Bill Thompson, the Comptroller. Both campaigns have large crowds gathering right now in Midtown waiting for the results to come in. If re-elected, Bloomberg will become the fourth New York mayor to win a third term. Two other races being closely watched in New York. Democrat John Liu is battling Republican Joe Mandola for Comptroller. And Democrat Bill de Blasio and Republican Alex de Blocky are on the ballot for Public Advocate. Again, New York polls close in about 20 seconds. We're going to be here throughout the night. We invite you to stay with Eyewitness News for complete coverage also on 7online.com. Dancing with the Stars is coming up next. Until then, enjoy your evening. We'll be back.